All right, so what does every Facebook page have in common? That's right. Every one of them has a cover photo. And it's a good way, like, you know, that's just like a billboard. I mean, you know, you can just throw a photo up and stuff like that. Um, or you can actually design something um, that kind of call, like this one here, it has a call to action and, um, you know, different stuff like that. But anyway, what, what this video is about actually is there's a it's kind of tough to get it to uh, look good across mobile and desktop or it can be a little confusing so this is what I've done here recently this is a friend of mine's page um, and what you'll see is like on the page itself it's totally different it's real tight around the edges um, you know this ribbon is a lot longer um, and then this is this other one is a screenshot of, of mo of uh, the same graphic on mobile and uh, now see how much room we got here so you can see it's kind of like finding that balance because they don't allow you you know you're not able to do two different graphics at this point i don't really know why um but <clears throat> it is what it is but anyway this is for an actual facebook page like a business page or something like that i know it varies like a group is a different size and all I can say is just whatever you're looking for, like in this case, these numbers I'm going to give you, I literally just kind of Googled perfect or Googled uh, uh, Facebook cover size or something like that. Anyway, it gave me up here. You're looking at uh, it gave me uh, this one here is 640 by 360, which the orange one um, zoom in. I don't know how good you can see that. But anyway, the orange one uh, is for mobile. That would be the size for mobile. Um, and then the blue one is an odd number, 851 by 315. But what I was reading, that's the size it gave me. Um, you know, it's just, I just jumped in there and tried it and it, it kind of worked out like I needed it to. So, um, but anyway, those were the sizes that I had found. It wasn't the top Google search result, uh, but this was more specific to pages. Um, and, and again, if you go in and look, sort through facebook stuff but a lot of times i have i have a hard time finding information actually from facebook on stuff if you get into the forums it's you know i don't know i i just i usually just google it and make it work from there but anyway so you can see though there's a pretty big difference and so what you can do is just like this right here you can create a graphic like that and you'll go ahead and drag out a uh, gra drag out two squares and then size them as such, 851 by 315 for your uh, for the desktop. And then you'll have the 640 by 360 for the uh, mobile. But as you'll see right here, um, this uh, and I've also, uh, on the mobile, I've turned it transparent so you can see this, uh, see the desktop outline behind it. But as you can see, like here, there's nothing really, they're not even trying to get these things to coincide. They're not even the same height or width. You know, everything's different. You got that little space to deal with here because if you uh, take all this space up on mobile, this is going to be cut off on desktop. So you got to consider all that. And generally, like in this graphic here, what I, and what I suggest is to design uh, for mobile more or less. So in other words, just use this space what is safe in here for mobile and then what you can do is come in and like see how this ribbon just something simple like that either a ribbon or you can use a um, some type of repeat pattern to where when it runs off the page it doesn't matter um, you know because you don't want just a like or in my opinion you, you don't want just this information and nothing kind of tying it together you know nothing graphical graphical I'm, I made that up I, I admit uh, but see, notice, like I said, you know, all this space here, I actually don't like that, but this was kind of like the, the happy medium between the two, because look, I'm right up against it, you know, so if I close the space on the graphic at all, it's going to run off on this graphic, so I've kind of pushed it as far as I could, and it worked, um, but anyway, I think just the numbers will help you, <clears throat> and as far as throwing up some kind of like I said, all you need is just continuity. Um, and you could do, like how I made that ribbon, uh, I just used my Bezier tool. I think I turned it on, uh, what's that say? Create spiral path. And then the the ellipse or, or a triangle in, like that one's a triangle in or out or whatever. We'll do that. Uh, and then you can just, I don't know, just kind of throw something out there that's going to continue. That, that's kind of ugly. Um, that's going to continue through the graphic. And then you can just, that, that sucks, but anyway, and you can just, uh, 
So if you got something and you just wanted to kind of, I don't know, that kind of sucks. Anyway, you get the idea. We'll do, yeah, that's better. That'll work better. And then you can just take that bottom one and we will right click and duplicate and bam and path intersection. And then that gives you an idea of what that page will look like on both, you know. And again, you just embellish the graphics. Like that one, I put a, uh, I put a, like a gradient on it. And then I just, uh, let's go ahead and, or I'll just turn it blue so I can show you how to make, create, or, well, let's turn it green instead. Okay, and then duplicate it again. Turn that one black. And then we'll move that down right here. Remember, down. Lower selection one step. We'll move that down. So now it's below the green. And then what you can do is just hit uh, the down arrow. Because you still have it selected as long as you haven't clicked off of it. And you can just hit the down arrow four or five times. Just whatever looks good. But just separate the two and see how the black comes out from underneath. Um, and then what you will do... Uh, different ways to make a shadow. One, you can just blur it and just turn up your blur. There's three, four, five, however you want that. Or you can also kind of do a combination of, of uh, leaving a hard blur and then bringing up your transparency. Or, you know, yeah, more transparency, less opacity or opacity or never mind. Anyway, so that's that's a quick shadow, a uh, quick little stripe. And again, I mean, that's the where the design comes in. That's the fun part is uh, that's kind of why I'm interested in, in getting you going on some different stuff because you can make some really cool, uh, you know, and again, I created a logo and everything with Inkscape for the, for my buddy. So, um, and you can create some cool stuff, but that's the cool part is, is, you know, it comes down to what you can create yourself you, and you just got to kind of get that basic knowledge of the tools and basic knowledge of the platforms you're using just like this facebook cover you know instead of just throwing something up you know you want to kind of try and put something up like man how'd they do that you know because i look at business pages you know i mean i do a lot of uh res niche research and stuff like that and i look at a lot of business pages that either their cover just really stinks or it's not uh it's like looks good on desktop, but not on mobile or vice versa. You know what I mean? And that's one of those things where, you know, if you get kind of dialed in, I mean, and you're wanting to make a little extra money, don't hesitate to say, hey, look. And I mean, you're doing it for free already. So go ahead and just, you know, take their cover and, and do what you can with it and just say, hey, you know, this, I, I think this would fit better if you want to use it. And have, I mean, you could just give it to them. It doesn't, you don't have to charge. But just find, you know, you can find, uh, of course, you could be busy doing your own stuff too, you know. Because, but uh, that, I mean, I spend a lot of time on my own stuff. I like spend a lot more time on my own. Uh, but I, you know, I enjoy helping. And like I said, this is this is the easiest way I found. This is how I deal with it. But like I said, you just create those two squares. You've got this as long, you know. Take your orange square to a pasty uh, or to where you can see through it. Um, and and it, whatever colors you want. Anyway, just make sure they're different colors so you can see the difference. But and then just know that you can design just right in here, you know. So, in other words, we'd take, uh, and now, you know, like say this is our uh, logo here. And then we're going to have some text. And honestly, a lot of times this is exactly how I design. Because I'll just say, okay, my logo is going to go somewhere around there. This will be a block of text. And, you know, and then I'll, you know, because there's just certain things you want to put in there, you know. And then you'll probably have the uh maybe address and phone number so you kind of find a spot around here but see how we're working within we got to stay within that but we also don't want it just to dead end you know because if it just dead end like if we clipped it uh let me do this real quick i don't know if it'll let me do it twice yeah well uh let's see so we'll uh path uh, intersection so see that's what it would look like on uh desktop if we cut it off, well, I mean, a shadow wouldn't be there either. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it would look like on desktop. Uh, a close facsimile of it. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that wasn't more confusing than helpful. Uh, but notice how, like I said, those two squares is where you want to start. Just that two rectangles. Overlap them. Oh, and make sure. Let, let me run through that real quick. Um, and I'll just show you how to, how, how to make them. You know what I mean? Well, you know how to make the squares, but I'll show you how to set it up. So you got... Uh, we'll duplicate the blue one and now again you're going to drag out a square you know just using your square tool like so and then you'll have it selected and then you're going to come up here uh, with it selected and I don't remember what it was I think it was like what 851 
Um, and make sure this is set on pixels, not millimeters. Mine's been coming up uh, default as millimeters, which it didn't used to do that on the last version. But I've been using this version for like, I don't know, a couple years now. So, I mean, it's not like a new thing anymore. Uh, but, uh, and then that ain't right. What was that? All right, so it's 8, yeah, 851 by 315. All right, so there's your square. Um, well, you can just duplicate that. We'll turn that one, say green. And then on that one, we're going to do, crap, I forgot. 640 by 360. So, 640, tab. 360. All right. Now, as you can see, they're not lined. You go ahead and rope around both of them, and then um, go to your line alignment tool. Uh, bam, bam. All right, and that's right back where we was. And if for some reason you're not on opacity, like if you've got full, uh, full opacity. I mean, uh, if you're not transparent and you're like up here at full opacity, that's what you do. Is you just turn it down until you can see through it, like that. And then you will uh, work within that space there, you know. And that'll be mobile friendly and desktop friendly both. It's I'm sure they'll fix that eventually because that's just kind of a pain in the butt. But so I can't swear to the 851 by whatever by 315 and all that, but it's working for me. So anyway, if you got any questions or comments. Uh, feel free to post them below and I appreciate you watching and I hope that helps guys. Have a good one.